Hey friends and welcome to Praying with Charles. Today we're in Monta Vista, Colorado, sitting down at the Nazarene Thrift Store. And Barb's been so gracious to invite us in and we're so excited to hear some amazing stories, particularly about what God's done through the thrift store during the time of COVID. So thank you so much for having us, and we can't wait to get into it. Well, thank you. Um, this ministry's been going for 13 years now. Okay. Um, just in the last four or five months, we've opened up this new section of the store that you're seeing now. And what's really incredible about it is that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Uh -huh. We are having businesses shut down everywhere around us. And God said to me, we need to do something with the things that are your better donations. Mm -hmm. So we call it our finer blessings. Okay. Um, it is higher end things, brand name things. And he said, open it now. Oh. And I said, That's what you're really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, we did, we opened the Black Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. We're already looking at expanding and we are Crazy the beginning man. of March. It is just taking Crazy off man. like no one's business. And, uh, only God would say, when everyone else is shutting down, yeah. do something big. That's so good. And you were telling me more about the staff situation. Of course, we all have friends and acquaintances that lost their jobs and had to just suffer through part of this period. But yeah. it didn't sound like the staff here had that yeah. same story. We were actually out of work, closed down from March 1st till May 1st. And we had enough resources from the store itself to be able to pay everyone their wage while they were gone. <laughs> so so good. God can so do the bless. And, and talking about our staff, we are a ministry of the Nazarene, Nazarene Church. Mm -hmm. And um, we thought our goal was to minister to the people out in the community, out in the world, through the funds that we raise. But we've really gotten away from hiring just people from our church because a okay. lot of them have jobs already. Gotcha. So we have started hiring people from the community. We have some girls that are not Christian. Uh -huh. We have different religions, denominations here, but we do devotions every morning. Um, and we spend 15 minutes reading the Bible, praying together, and we're seeing some of the girls now questioning baptism, uh -huh. wanting to learn more about prayer. And so we're yeah. saying, you know, it's a ministry inside these walls as That's well neat. as outside of ours. Yeah, so it's been really, figured. really good to see and mm -hmm. encouraging that what we're doing is helping. What we're doing is right. Yeah. And all we have to do is plant those seeds and God does the rest. And who wouldn't so. love to work in an environment like that? You know, I've worked in some <laughs> crummy places and that just sounds amazing. Uh, well, and, when you get 20 women together, you really think you're going to have a, <laughs> a hostile I'll, environment, but I'll it's leave not. That <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's 20 women that love each other and encourage each other and pray for each other. Wow. And I'm not saying we don't have our moments, but we pray our way through them. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's a nice way to work. And I've heard uh, over the years some of the stuff this ministry has done. It sounds like you guys go internationally and you guys oh, yeah. tackle big challenges. Uh, Tell us about one of those things that you've tackled and how you had to pray about it and what God did through that. Well, most of the international stuff was when Deborah was still working here and running the store. Um, we've bought a boat, a bus. We've done the uh, Jesus film. We, we still give to the Jesus film about okay. $2,500 a year to that. Wow. Um, but we've got more inside the United States and then a lot more community minded here. Okay. We're doing a lot more of people within our town, our valley, right. that we just want them to know our church supports you, our store mm -hmm. supports you, and if there's something you need, come and see us. Okay. And they don't come directly to us. We send them to the church, the pastor visits with them, uh, he shares the word of God with them, yeah. and then we help them financially after that. How so? so that's yeah. good. I love that give and take, because obviously people drop stuff off, and then to see that you're actually reaching your own community by your donations. It's got to right. feel good for people. Well, it's, it used to be 100% donation. Right now, we are actually selling some food products in here that are gourmet type foods. Um, we partnered with a business in Alamosa just so we could stay open during the pandemic. We worked it out with the uh, Department of Health so we could be an essential business and we wouldn't shut down it again. Yeah, hey so, amen. Essential you are. I, <laughs> well, I, yeah. God provides every direction. We had somebody who said, let me help you, and now we're helping her. And, you know, right now the businesses need to work together. That's right. Just, 
That's right. Yeah. To keep us all going. That's so good. In the future of the store, we're standing right here in this new edition, and it's already expanding. So give us an idea, a little bit about where the store is headed, and then let these guys know how they can get in touch with you. And of course, guys, in the description below, you'll see all the contact information for the store uh, and how you can get connected with them. Um, well, we, we're hoping the store expands beyond this. We actually purchased um, three garage bays across the alley from us. Okay. And uh, I remember when we first started renting them, I said, there's no way we'll fill up one of these. If the church needs to use the other two, yeah. you know, for storage or whatever, yeah. they could do that. And we started praying. The donations are slowing down, Dodd. We filled all three bays. We're looking for more space to expand now. Very good. And, uh, you know, I get up every morning, and I do my devotions, and I just pray, God, what would you have me to do today? Okay. And at first, it felt like he wasn't answering me, and I realized I wasn't listening. Interesting. And so he would just prompt me in different ways. Today do this. Today do a sale of this. Yeah. Today move this product over here so it seemed better. And it just, he blesses every single thing we touch. Yeah. And we've had a lot of people say, you know, since you're in charge, we've really taken off and things are doing well. But it's not anything I'm doing. That's what, you saw that switch in your mind, though. And that's a common trend. We do this common thread series. And I think I've seen that when I talk to people about prayer. When they kind of surrender and they realize they're actually listening. That's the breakthrough. I yes. think that's so cool. <laughs> Not only cool to have it in your life, but I'm seeing that trend. I just I just think that's phenomenal. Well, the girls say, why do you move everything so much? Why do you do this and that? You're just making more work. And God told me to do it. And he's honoring everything uh, we're it's doing. It's working. <laughs> and, you know, Deborah had the best advice ever uh, when she was running the store. The minute sales start to decrease, uh -huh. give more money away. You can't outgive God, um, and that's so cool. we follow that lead. And if we see a decline in sales, we call the church board and we say, "Where can we give more funds?" Yeah. And you know, we bought an ultrasound machine in um, oh. Alamosa for the Life Center over there okay. because we are very pro-life. Uh -huh. um, we have found that if a woman sees immediately that it is a life and there is a heartbeat. They're not going to have an abortion. Imagine so, that. How, only God would lead you to that. That's yeah. so cool. And we're actually working with them right now um, to get a 3D digital one and okay. to get them training for it. So that they used to have to bring a woman on site and you'd schedule an appointment and they found that to make an appointment to get a lady back or a young girl oh. back, they don't tend to come gotcha. back. And somebody else has put sense. a bug in their ear already. That's right. So yeah. we're working with them to get that really nice 3D uh, imaging. And then to get one of their staff trained to do it. Okay. So you walk in that door, you're questioning, yeah. you get that ultrasound right then. And you guys are changing generations. Life. Well, we're hoping we're making a generation. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. Friends, I'm always telling you that there's a Christian alternative out there. And so I think that's what the thrift store is. Obviously, there's some really good thrift stores around here as well. But guys, I always say your first choice should be that Christian business. You know, not too long ago, we were over at the Ark and some museums over in Kentucky, and I said that if you're planning a family vacation, head out to one of those places as your first pick, just because I think it's so cool in the body of Christ is supporting each other. And so any way you can, if you're in the area, of course, stop by. Uh, but if you'd let us know where they can find you and any last Bits of encouragement for these guys, okay. I think that would be great. Um, right now, we're only on Facebook. It's under Nazarene Thrift Store in Monta Vista. Um, we're working on setting up a website right now for Finer Blessings and a Facebook page for them. Right. And we're right here on the highway. Can't miss us if you come through Monta Vista, and we'd love to see each and every person come through. And You know, I think one of the best things is when people walk into the building, mm -hmm. They don't know what it is, but they know it's different. Oh, and we so have great. people come in and just say, yeah. we just feel peace when we come into the building. That's and so that's good. huge, and that's, that's God. So good. Yeah. But we also have a whole community that knows we'll pray for them. We have a prayer board that we okay. keep running. And we'll have people come in on a regular yeah. basis and say, would you add us to the prayer board? Yeah. And, and then we'll cool we follow too. up with them as well oh, to no make way. sure things are better, things are good. Wow. And what else can we do to help? 
So it's been nice. And we've, we've gotten to know some people in the, in the valley that really needed help, and mm -hmm. we were able to put out a hand and help them. So, right. And we actually give merchandise away also to a lot of people who have been in a fire. They've lost oh, everything. Okay. They just That's come and tell us what they need. We give um, gift certificates to social services. Okay. Every foster child that goes to Rio Grande County mm -hmm. gets a gift certificate that goes with them because sometimes they show up That's in the it. middle of the night and they have nothing but the clothes on their back. That's right. Yeah, I was so, a social worker, so I've been in yeah. that world and to hear that. That's just incredible. So I love we that. just try no strings to, attached. Just, no, just come so in. And and sometimes they spend beyond what the gift certificate is, and we honor that because yeah. they just need help. They yeah. need a fresh start, and they need to know. We were doing uh, babies that came were born at the hospital, and one day God prompted me and said, not all babies come from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Some of these kids are coming from foster families wow. and stuff. So we jumped on it, and we gave them an initial $1,100 worth of gift certificates, and we did another batch. Mm -hmm. And I think we're about ready to do another batch for them. It's been a really good service. Yeah, undoubtedly. Guys, God just put on my heart. If you have an opportunity, check them out on Facebook and see if God's not calling you to actually give financially uh, to this ministry. I'm here, boots on the ground. I can feel it. I see it. Just like what you're saying, when you come in, there's a taste of the Holy Spirit. And I hope it comes through the camera. But friends, uh, just hang with Praying with Charles. This is what we do. We're out filming prayer, travel, and adventure, taking you with us as we travel to the ends of the earth to witness the power of prayer firsthand. And that's exactly what we did today, hearing all these amazing stories. Personally, I'm going to have to go back and watch it again and hear back <laughs> some of these awesome testimonies. But thank you so much for having us, and we're just praying blessings over this business. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video.